Bam! Welcome everybody. Today we're playing The Dark Room. A bunch of people have been talking about this and I never played the original. Let's see how, what happens. You are about to die! Uh, apparently. Apparently says the game. <laughs> oh, how very sinister. <laughs> wow, loading anxiety. Perfect. You're too late, game. The world's given me enough of that already. We are about to play a game. A game that is super easy. Ha! Like your mum. Nice a mum game jokes. Like the text-based adventure games from the 1980s. And if you've ever played a text-based adventure game, you know there are two words that shouldn't have been in that sentence. And they are adventure and game. Oh. The rules are simple. Rule one, find the light switch. Rule two, find your family. Rule three, escape the dark room! <laughs> if you succeed, you will be reunited uh, with your okay. loving, attractive, unmutilated brethren and win this beautiful flamboyant potato. But if you fail... Wait a second. <laughs> That's not you a potato. Die, you die! You die! You die! It's not a potato at all. <laughs> And one last thing. Let's set your level of morality. There's a tiny butterfly in front of you. It's beautiful. Oh. Grabbing it will kill it, but it will be yours. Yeah, I don't really care for butterflies, and I don't want to smush that butterfly. Bam. Right. There's a little cat in front of you. Get out of here, butterfly. Grabbing it will hurt it, but it will save your life. There's a cat. Grabbing it will hurt it, but it will save my life. Sure, There's yeah. There's a gorilla gra next to you. Grabbing its balls is a mistake. Grabbing its balls is a mistake. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna grab the gorilla's balls. Now, what is your name? Uh, my name? Darren, Mario, Dolores. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh yes, of course, your parents named you that. You must have forgotten your full name. Obviously no one will ever. Fuck you. In fact, your full name is obviously no one will ever fuck you the third. You're not the first mistake your parents made. Oh. Wait, but isn't third, like, you know, like lineage rather than just relatives? Uh, sure, whatever. I mean, not relatives, siblings. Let's play. <laughs> no. I have no choice but to inform you. You die! You die! You die! You die! Still, achievement unlocked dies on the name select screen probably someone living up to their name fuck you i died be more thoughtful darren okay right uh well i hopefully there's a checkpoint wow dead already <laughs> no i have no choice but to inform you you die yet still achievement unlocked uh he dies on the name select screen Wait, was that the checkpoint? <laughs> okay, right. Start new game. I don't want. I don't. I still. I still don't want the butterfly. Kill. Kill the kitten. Don't grab the balls. My name is Darren. Apparently. <laughs> Good. I'm pleased you remember. Though that pleasure dissipates rapidly at the sight of you. <laughs> Darren, you awake to find yourself in a dark room. Okay. Find the light switch. Go north. Go north is always like a classic adventure adventure trope. Um, find light switch. How will you find the light switch? You're in a dark room. You need the light switch to see. Do you see? I I don't see. <laughs> we know you don't see. Oh that no. That is why you need to. You're in a dark room. Okay. You need the light switch to see. Do you see? Uh, I see. Bullshit! You see. You're in a dark room! Right. Uh, touch the wall, listen for the light switch, smell the room. I guess touching the wall. That's probably what I'd do. You caress the wall. It's indifferent to you. Touch another wall. Now the first wall is jealous. Oh no. 
Just keep touching those balls. Like, if, it's better they're all jealous than... You're just some sort of brickwork slut, aren't you, <laughs> Now the walls have lost all respect for you. How did they have respect to lose? Their walls... They cannot stand your bizarre brand of brick and mortar molestation. The walls collapse and the ceiling caves in. You die, you die, you die, you die! Oh. Oh, no. Daryl. You awake to find yourself okay. in the dark room. We're back in the dark room. Well, finally the light switch isn't so good. Let's go north. Why you not? proceed in the direction you believe to be north. How can you be sure you're in a dark room? Ha! Oh, oh, I don't know. Rise for being so headstrong, Darren. Bam! You have encountered a new friend, Mr. Spike, the ten-inch meat spike. Sadly. Oh. His traditional greeting is that he pierces your skull. Oh you die, no. You die, you die, you die, Dead you again die. already? I, I'm in the dark room again. Okay, Sephiroth. Uh, go to sleep. You sleep. And when sleep has ended... Darren, you awake to find yourself um, in the dark room. Why? Because it's dark, Darren. And a room, Darren. And you're awake in it, Darren. Check pockets. Check pockets. Sleep. Let's check Congratulations. pockets. Congratulations! You're wearing checked pockets. It's a hideous fashion choice. And you wouldn't have known because the room's so dark. But I decided to tell you. Oh. How come he see me? Night vision, I guess. Uh, really? Check pockets? So, you really want to stick your hands in your pants and just have a little rummage, don't you, Darren? I do. I really do. Nothing sordid. You're just a sort of self-adventurer, aren't you? Would you perhaps prefer to check? Um, sure. Serious gamer that you are, Darren. You check your inventory. Inventory? Inventory? I don't know. I've only ever seen the word written. What's in the inventory? Okay. Oh, uh, Darren. I know what I have. We all know what you have. What? And it ain't pretty. What the hell? Oh, shit. Well, we're we just stuck in this loop again. Sleep. You sleep. And when sleep has ended, Darren, you awake to find your Right, back in, in the dark, dark room. room. Okay, I got it. I feel like checkpockets was a good, a good, like, line to go down. We're just gonna kind of, like, skip through. Pockets are fine. Yes, Darren, pockets are fine. <laughs> Christ, the conversation here is stellar. Ugh. Maybe I can ring GLaDOS and swap with her. At least her one doesn't talk. Oh, is that like a little... a portal reference? Oh, I like it. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself, Darren. It's not 2007. Nice. Fucking owned. Bam. Burnt me on the, uh, the portal. Portal line. Holy shit. What a, what a guy. Gamer that you are, Darren. You check your inventory. Inventory? 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 Come on. What do, what do we find? Uh, lint? Cheese? Gloves? Oh, fuck me. Um, cheese, why not? Cheese! Ah, wonderful. Yes, Darren. Cheese. Delicious in the mouth. Hideous beneath the foreskin. A what? Uh, gloves. Gloves. They're heavy and thick, Darren. Just like you. <laughs> oh, he got me. Lint. Lint. Ah, wonderful, yes. Darren, you have a matted up ball of revolting lint. Good for choking up plug holes, children or pets. Uh, I've checked everything. Worn out. Worn out. You sleep. And when sleep has ended... Oh, no. You awake to find yourself in a dark room with some gloves. And some cheese. And some lint. Oh. Oh, jeez. Uh, sure. Eat, eat Hungry, the cheese. Are you, Darren? Waking from your slumber, you tuck into a fine meal of mooey secretions. Mmm. Your stomach rumbles. Oh. If you sleep now, you'll have some weird dreams. Sure, why not? Sleep. And when sleep has ended... 
You are weak to find yourself in a video game. Everything is controlled by a team of skilled manipulators, hell-bent on leeching money from your wallet the way a junkie sucks smack out of a syringe. Uh-oh. Click heels together for Stalin? That doesn't feel like a good one. Sure, right, okay. Then, get up. Click your heels together three times and do say, I... There's no place like Leningrad. Do I... Wait, do I have to do this? Uh, okay. I wonder if you can hear this. Uh, yeah, my, I don't really have great heels. Uh, there's no place like Leningrad. Yes, there is. St. Petersburg. Do it again. Oh, fucking owned. Wow. Fucking, fucking owned. Yes, there is. St. Petersburg. Okay, we got it. Do it again. And... Wow. There's no place like Leningrad! Congratulations, Daryl. You're strange. You're strange. And insane tribute to Judy Garland will not go unrewarded. You are no longer alone in the dark room. Oh! Joseph Stalin is there with you! Okay. And where Stalin goes, he brings with him nothing but death! You die! You die! Oh, you die! shit. You die. I was really hopeful for a second. I thought Stalin was gonna save us. But apparently not. Apparently Stalin fucking killed us. You're weak to find yourself in a dark room. Okay, well... With some gloves. We're, we're back at this checkpoint. So, we ate the cheese. That wasn't all that fucking helpful, was it? Eat the gloves, eat the lint. Why not? But also stupid. You wolf down the ball of lint. My god, Darren, what did I just say about choking? You need to chew your lint. Chew. You chew the lint. You enjoying that, are you, Darren? Yeah, I keep keep you chewing chew it. The lint. You enjoying that, are you, Darren? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You chew the. You chew the lint. You chew the lint. You chew the lint. <laughs> this is what you paid money for. Uh. You chew the. How much lint chewing can I do? You reckless turd! You're choking, Darren. Goodbye, Mister Airflow. You sleep, and when sleep has ended, you are weak to find yourself in a dark room. Wait. Oh, and you vomited. Great. You want to uh, clean that? Oh, okay. So I've been sick now. Put on gloves. Curious why not? And concerned about hygiene. This sounds good. You reach down to pick up the vomit. But Darren, you have been rewarded. Do you like dogs, Darren? I do like dogs. Snuffling out of a hole in the wall. It's a hungry little friend. Oh my, it's a puppy. I think it wants to eat the vomit, though. Put gloves on the puppy. That sounds amazing. Uh, sure. Were you worried it was getting cold? Or oh. You pop the little puppy in your big gloves, and now it crawls along the ground like a ten-fingered leathery spider. Ooh. Feed the leathery spider puppy cheese. A sure. Friend, are you, Darren? It's, uh, it's it's where I thought this was going. Its tail isn't just wagging. All its fingers are wiggling happily. Why, it's like watching a surgeon wave goodbye as the anaesthetic kicks in. Uh oh. Rub its little Ooh, belly. Rub its belly. Your fingers oh. can't get through the thick leather of the gloves. But the puppy seems to know what you mean. Oh. You made a little buddy, Darren. Give your fuzzy, glovey friend a name. Best Darreny boy. Darn. Good Darren. Darren. <laughs> Just calling him Darren. Sure. Oh, Darren, what fun you're having! It barks, you bark, you chase it, it chases you! Oh, you're having a wonderful time! Puppies are great, aren't they? It's your little papa wappa 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 woohoo! Your little papa wappa 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 woohoo! Yes! Ah, and I bet it'll even help you get out of here. Oh! How will you find the oh, light switch? Oh shit! You're yeah, in a dark it's a dark room. room. Okay, we got it. We got see. it. Do Just you see? keep dropping the name of the game. Uh, smell the room. The dark room. Smell a la la la. Wait. The dog is sniffing. There is danger here. It barks madly. Do something now. Oh, um, hurdle the dog. Huddle with dog. Hurl the dog. <laughs> Oh jeez, hurl it. As a reward for its bravery, you toss the dog in the air. It enjoys its final adventure because its love for you is so pure. Oh. 
devious, loathsome carbuncle. The ceiling liquidizes its skin with venomous saliva, then spits the skeleton back out. The dog that loved you embraces you in a final hug, its sharp little ribs gouging out your eyes. Oh, shit. Laps into the vomit that brought you both together, and you will be together forever. Well, that... You die! You die! You... Fuck me. Uh, that is not what I wanted. Right, so the dog's here. Let it eat the vomit. Oh, Why not? great parenting, Darren. The puppy eats your vomit. It hits that wadge of lint. Now it vomits. Soon the floor is a slippery mess of canine puke. You slip and crack your head, which is lucky. The concussion knocks off most of the pain as, wagging its tail, the puppy chews the skin off your face. Oh, you die! Shit, okay. So the the leather, leather puppy, that seems to be good. The vomit puppy bad. Are you trying Jeez. To friend, yeah. Let's be dog friend. Yeah, Let's call him to... Good Darren. Oh, Darren! What fun you're having! It barks! You bark! You chase it! It chases you! Oh, you're having a wonderful time! Puppies are great, aren't they? It's your little papa wappa 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 woohoo! Your little papa wappa 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 woohoo! If you have a spill on your table, an ordinary rag or towel would just soak it up all so boringly, but thanks to the shampoo woohoo! This guy is oh. nuts, huh? Find the light switch. How will you find the light switch? You're in a dark room. Yeah, 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 okay. Right. I see. Bullshit. Um, listen for the light switch. You listen to the light switch. And my god, it hates you, Darren. Oh. It likes the puppy, though. Kill self? What? Darren, you can't kill yourself. You've got a puppy. What? What kind of world is it? Where oh. someone can commit suicide and abandon a kind, pure-hearted little fluff ball. Oh, not the little pupper. Oh, of course. The real one. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, put dog down. There's... There's no need to euthanize the dog, Darren. Oh. You don't... You don't need to twist its little head. Oh. That's not what I meant. I meant put it on the floor. That's okay. Its tail was probably tired from all that wagging. Oh, Popo. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes. <laughs> you Jesus. The wall weep. This is you. <laughs> Congratulations, Darren. You have found the light switch. Hey! Or, to be fair, your tears have. Water runs from your face and short circuits the electrics. A thousand volts of electricity shoots up through your misery and fries your face off. You die! You die! Oh. You die! You die! Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> Right, we're close. I feel like we're getting close. If we just, just weep. Oh, mate. You're crying. Oh. Luckily, you've got a puppy wriggling in your arms, trying to lick up your tears. Oh. Look at it. Wiggling and lapping up every last droplet of your sadness. Every single sad trickle of worry and loss. But why is it twitching? And why... Why is it dead? Oh dear, darling. Could it be that you were radioactive and had uh been this entire time? And could it be... That you're so very, very radioactive. That your tears could poison and kill a puppy. <laughs> Shit. The puppy is dead, darling. The puppy is dead. I just killed the puppy with my tears. Oh no, but now I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Lean on wall and weep, or just weep to myself. Overcome with emotion, you weep. It's a pitiful display. 
that I'm really enjoying. Go on. Dance in your misery. Make it rain. Uh. Oh God. Okay. Lean against the wall and weep. This is you. <laughs> so I die, I guess. You die! Right, right. We saw, we saw that one coming. Find the light switch. We, you, we, you... we can see. Uh. Smell the room. Touch the wall. You caress the wall. It's delighted. Oh this shit! This is a fucking spike. With pleasure. You're making everybody happy now, Darum. Oh. Touch yet another wall. Oh, the walls love the puppy so much, Darum, that they've decided to offer you something. That's always been your problem, Darum. Self-esteem too high. Think just because you have a cute puppy, you can turn on anything, even inanimate objects. What? Uh? Would you turn the light switch on? With my finger. Finally, finally, logic has arrived at the dark room. Yes, you would turn the light switch on with your finger, but right now your hands are full of puppy. Oh. There's. There's no need to euthanize the dog. Okay, there. right. Kill. We, are we killing the dog? That's okay. It's from all that wagging. Christ, you're alarming, Darren. Oh, shit. And then we <laughs> weep ourselves to death again. Get Fuck me. <laughs> Smell the room. It barks madly. Do something now. Okay, something dangerous is here. Uh, hurdle the dog. Huddle with dog. Sure. You hurl yourself to the ground and cradle the dog. The mouth in the ceiling snaps down above your head, its fangs slobbering venom. There's a thud, and another, and another, and another. The walls are pressing in close to you, and each one is one of eight black segmented legs. It seems we're going to have a boss fight. Oh. What? There's a boss fight against, the, uh, like, some kind of spider monster? Oh, jeez. Well, the dog has been pretty good to us, so let's protect oh, Doggo. How selfless of you! As the giant spider lowers from the ceiling, you curl yourself around the dog. Each of the spider's legs is a razor-sharp point of metal. It slashes at your back with curling, leisurely strokes. Ow. It is a machine made to rip flesh down. And it rips you apart. Not my flesh. Soon, the creature's mouth is on you. <laughs> and it sucks out your kidneys. <laughs> Sated, the beast returns to the roof. And it gurgles. Fuck! Hmm. It falls back down. It's exoskeleton cracking into the floor. It's dead, Darren. What? You look down at the puppy in your arms. <laughs> it's dead, too. It's radiation, Darren. It's radiation from you. Mm. I've gained access to level two, which is currently being renovated. Wow. If I was smarter, I could have got there without being dead and terminally ill. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Wow. Uh, so this this was um, The Dark Room. My god. What a game. Um, I feel like I've kind of gone through a bit of an ordeal here. Well, I hope you, everyone enjoyed it. Uh, I wonder how this is going to turn into a video. Uh, until next time, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> You're in a room. What would you like to do? Like and subscribe, leave a comment, watch another video, or ring that bell. Ho 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 ho. You die, you die, you die.